So this is War 12 of Season 35, Salty versus SPBA or Space Bastards. We are currently five and six, and we need to win six wars to get Masters, and I believe Space Bastards is also five and six. So whoever wins this gets Masters, and whoever doesn't gets Plat 1, so, so we're both trying really hard. My team is Hercules, She-Hulk, and White Magneto, and I go into this first fight with Hercules versus Hitmonkey. You'll notice that my <laughs> my power, not power index, but um, yeah, my power index is a little bit higher than uh, it normally is. I have only one 30% boost, and that's a 30% war boost. And I decided to pop it for this war, because I had a rank 4 doom that was scaring me just a touch. Um, and so I popped it for all my fights at the beginning, because I knew I could take my first 7 fights um, with it on. So... Here we go, knock him down after the special one, which we used to get the intercept charge and also the crit, obviously. Now we want to kind of back off for this. And he drops a combo and a heavy into my block. Intercept, now we need to knock him down again. But instead of knocking him down, I believe I just throw special two here. Um, which actually would have killed if not for protection, mitigating our red damage. Like, like not even our basic damage, but the red damage after the fact. Um, but it's not a big deal, I'm at 98% health, and just chilling here, so here I get a heavy, and I tap him once, and that's the first fight down. Um, next fight is Mordo, and here's the first fight where I use my White Magneto pre-fight. Um, if it could load. So, pretty standard fight, wasn't necessarily concerned with this. I'm really only scared of Mordo when um, he has some sort of increased special damage. So... This fight should not be a problem. I just She-Hulk it, parry heavy to knock him down, and then from there, pretty standard stuff. Um, not that big a deal. Let's see, so here we combo to remove protection, and Fury's about to fall off, so I can parry during the protection coming back on. Probably shouldn't knock him down there. Um, I can do that, but only because I have White Magneto. Okay, so, I want to bait out a special 2, which he throws, beautiful, now, either parry heavy or knock him out, and for some reason here, I just felt like heavy, was it the perfect play? No, I don't even know why, I just felt like heavy was the play, and, and he didn't resist, so that worked out, um, definitely not the right call there, but I don't even know why, I don't, I have never heavied against Mordo and War like that, I just felt like doing it, and it worked out, and this time, I didn't feel it, um, I don't know what I'm talking about, it's purely luck, but um, I don't know why. I just, for some reason, I just felt like heavy and I did, and it worked out. Um, so special one to knock him down, slash end it, or heavy. Into special two. Or just pounding his block, so that's more to down. So the next fight that I have to take is node 19. It's a rank four, Mr. Negative, using Hercules. And this one's pretty standard. So, I go into the fight, do a little combo, I want to push to SP1 and knock him down that way. So that's what we do. I also could have heavied and then thrown special one while inverted, but maybe that would have gone well, I'm not really sure. Wait out the inverted timer. Okay. Back off with the heavy, push to SP2. This is the easy one to dodge, I'd really prefer not to do it inverted, so I beat it out here. Pretty easy, now I can just parry, knock his ass down, get a charge and uh, remove protection. So that's the game plan. And what I should have done is thrown special one here, but instead I sat here and took a heavy to the face because I was trying to save for special two. I should have just, I should have thrown special one, but I didn't and uh, took a health potion or two. Um, but yeah, actually, I don't know if that cost me health potion, but anyway, um, shouldn't have done that, but it's fine. So that's Mr. Negative down. Um, wasn't sure if I was going to take Man-Thing or No-23 when it first came out, but it ended up that it didn't. So here's the thing. This is a rank 4 Doctor Doom, and I put a Wags on. I was supposed to have Mr. Fantastic for this fight, but um, people got clogged up in Section 1, and I couldn't get my prefight here before the end of the night. So if I don't take this without Mr. Fantastic, um, we're going to have to clear all of S2 in the morning, at least this pod. Four, five, six. So that wasn't that wasn't acceptable. So I had to take it without Mr. Fantastic, which makes it a little bit slower to ramp up and a little bit harder to control him. 
but it's still workable it's still i'm not saying it's a bad fight at all um but definitely it adds another element to it not having that control and, and all that stuff but yeah so we're knocking him down we're keeping up our furies basically the game plan is this keep your furies up and that's the whole game plan if i can keep my furies up if i can slow him and ideally petrify him too that's really that's really the whole game plan so now i want to throw a special two for petrify or just tap him what i should have done is just tap him in block so we get those special and refresh my furies but i didn't do that um so there i lose my furies but so far it's, i'm feeling pretty good about this i do have a power back boost on for this tap him once can't hit him more than once because he's not slowed can but shouldn't um and so here i can either tap him or i can heavy him heavy him took a little longer or heavying him took a little longer so didn't get to keep my furies up but at this point i'm more in a rhythm i'm less in nuke mode like i was earlier and a little bit more in control mode if i can get some furies for the taunt and the damage that's great but just trying to control this fight dude i i like doing lights for spacing it just makes me feel um more comfortable in punishing his special one so you'll see me do that a lot i did that last war too i think so here's a special two, and that almost finishes the job. A combo should end it. Unless I parry heavy. Nope. Alright, so that's Doom. Um, now we have a Rhino, and this one I could have done Hercules or She-Hulk. I elected to go She-Hulk, um, but not before I put on a combat regen boost. You can see I have some obscenely heavy boosts on with all kinds of crazy, crazy stuff. Um, so here I just decided that intercepting would be better. Um, and also she doesn't really block all that much, so I don't really have to worry about unblockable. Not really. Um, and, and then um, also because he's big, I'll have the Furies, so it's good. So he goes unblockable as I hit the intercept, which is fine. Here I want to keep my Furies, so I do that. Um, and, and basically the goal is keep up slow, keep up Furies, and try to keep off protection. Here I need protection might come back. But I decided to throw it for tempo, and it actually did come back, but it's fine. So here I want a heavy to get the slow off and get bait out a special and intercept. So I heavy to get the slow off, bait out a special, go for intercept, doesn't go for it, go for it. another heavy to refresh the slow, so I can get out special one and do the same thing. So I do that, intercept, he goes for it, so now I can pop a special two on his face with seven theories, and wow, that was nice. Another special two, and that's the fight. So really clean. Shield's great option for that if he's on node 29 and can't shrug the slow. Um, and here's a Killmonger. I put on a regen boost still. So it's actually going to transfer for this fight and the next fight. So game plan here is pretty simple. Special one, intercept, heavy, and that's it. So ideally don't want to trigger infuriate until I know until I'm in a good spot. So you can see me purposefully not triggering Infuriate. And here I want to push him to special two so that when Reverberation comes back, he'll have no power because I can bait that out at a pretty even bar. Here I stop abruptly like a weirdo, but I dash back. It actually play it actually works out perfectly, but like not how I planned it. So here I want to hit an intercept, which he does not go for. Then I hit that's I, I did that a couple wars ago, and that's my favorite one, is where you your light attack doesn't connect, but you do a medium, and you do a regular and something that connects. I just think it's really clean looking, and I think it's fun to do. So here he's about to die, so I can just block this, and then hit him, and then that is good. Um, and then the final fight of this section is MODOK. The game plan is pretty simple for MODOK. Get the special one up, intercept, and try to keep his auto block off when I do not have my anti-auto block up. So, first I do that. What I should have done is heavy, but I wasn't really thinking. So here I can hit an intercept and room protection. There he auto blocks, so no more auto block shield. Now I just want to throw a special one. Get the heavy for the charge. He throws a special one. I throw mine. So now his auto block is gone, but I do need to intercept, so I had an intercept there. I backed off knowing he'd follow me, or thinking that he would probably follow me. Um, so then we do this, we had another intercept, and that's Modoc dead. So this is the following morning, and these are my last two fights of the war. That was actually my 100th fight of the season. Um, so I take this Mysterio with the PS1, and um, done this fight before, game plan's pretty simple. I just want to throw a special one, but preferably maybe get some 
um, get some damage off first and kind of get some spacing and all that stuff. So I throw a special one and then I want to push him a special two. So I hold block and then dash in and when I open up, he, he sees the opening to throw a special one, which was a little bit annoying, but it's fine. Here he does a full combo and I hit him in the face. Intercepts for days, and here I'd really like if he didn't throw a special one, so I want to turtle up. I actually cannot counter miss at this point, so preferably not triggering decks, and he goes down. Here's a Penny Parker. Um, I actually invul up for this fight. I have never invuled up for a Penny Parker before, except on no 22, um, on this node, and that's because it's not scary, but this is my last fight of the season, and I would rather not die on the last fight of the season when I haven't died all season, and so I'm gonna take any precaution I can not to die. So, just in case, checking what her special three does, but, I mean, I don't necessarily plan on pushing her there. So the plan's pretty simple. Um, want to hit her a little bit and then knock her shield down. Here I hit a parry just on um, kind of habit where I probably shouldn't have, but it's fine. So here I get some intercepts, and I know I'm not going to be able to knock her shield down because she's infuriated, so I just kind of back off. If she wants to block, she can, but I don't expect her to. Um, and now it's about time that she can start blocking. My health is taking away, but it's fine. Tap her on the block. Now we're good. So now I can throw a special one for my crit, too. So I do that. Um, and then I want to push her to special two just because it's easier. So if she could throw it, that'd be really cool. She throws it which is really cool. More degen damage. Um, and then I can just knock her shield down here. I was considering full comboing into her block, but that was just really stupid, so I didn't. Tapping her a little bit more, and that's a perfect season in Masters. Um, and I stay in Masters because we won this war. So we went six and six, and played really well. Um, and that is the season. I'm gonna have a couple of videos out on the season and on the future. But that's the season, and that's the war, and thank you so much for watching.